Hi, my name is Nicole with MorningChores.com and today we're going to learn how to grow your very own microgreens. According to Webster's Dictionary, a microgreen is a small, young, tender, and edible leaf of a plant such as mustard greens, kale, or radishes, and it's usually harvested before the plant reaches full maturity. According to a study done by the U.S. Department of Agriculture along with Maryland University, found that microgreens are four to six times more nutrient dense than when that same plant reaches full maturity. Red cabbage was extremely high in vitamin C and radishes were high in vitamin E. Microgreens are a super easy, great way to get some extra nutrition into your diet. The first thing you need, of course, are seeds. There's lots of reputable companies to order from. I'll link them down below. I ended up ordering my seeds from Johnny's. They had a really nice selection of microgreens and I've already grown some with these seeds and they did really great. Today, I will be growing a mild microgreen mix, red Russian kale, broccoli, and radish. The next supply on our list are trays. You need something to grow your microgreens in and you have a couple of options. Sure, yes, you can use seed trays that you can purchase from a local greenhouse or home improvement store. These I purchased from the grocery store. They're in the baking section. They're reusable baking dishes. These work great because they also come with a lid so you can kind of do the greenhouse effect. Another container option is using an old salad container. I saved this after we ate up all the salad and washed it out really good and this is another great option. If you are using something like a salad container or you purchase a baking tray like this, one thing you will have to do is poke holes in the bottom because we need trays that can drain. We don't want water sitting in there after we've watered our microgreens, so that is one thing you'll have to keep in mind. Make sure that you poke holes in the bottom of your tray. The great thing about Johnny Seeds, and most seed companies do include this when you order from them, but on the back of the packet it has culture instructions as well as harvesting instructions. So everything you need to know is right on the back, which makes it really easy and convenient. I poked my holes in the bottom of my tray, so now I am ready to fill these with soil. I have my potting soil in a bowl, and the reason I did this is because before we put our soil in our trays, we need to dampen the soil. This is really key with growing microgreens and really starting any seeds because it will help jumpstart the germination process. I have the water added to my soil, so I have it just the right consistency, so now it's time to load up my trays. Now, one of the key things with growing microgreens is the soil needs to be shallow. So I'm not gonna fill this tray completely to the top with soil. I'm only gonna fill it maybe a third of the way. And there you have it. I have it nicely evened out and patted down. So now we're ready to plant our seeds. I wanted to mention here, make sure that you label your trays with what's planted. Because once they start coming up, sometimes it's hard to differentiate which one's which, especially the first time you do this. And there you have it. We have our first microgreen tray finished. I'm gonna continue planting and get these other ones planted, and then we'll move on to the next step.
It's now time to harvest our microgreens. My microgreens are 11 days old. According to the package, microgreens are ready for harvest between two to four weeks or when they're two to four inches tall. We have a wood stove going in our living room, so they germinated very quickly and grew fast. So it may vary depending on the humidity levels in your home. The only supplies you need to harvest are a pair of scissors. And what you're going to do is cut your microgreens at the base just above the soil. As I harvest these, I'm going to place them in this glass jar with a lid and they will store in your refrigerator up to two weeks. I finished cutting my microgreens. Don't throw these away because there's lots of microgreens that you can actually get a second cutting on. So I'm gonna put these back in my sunny window, water them and see what happens. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope it encourages you to get out there and try growing microgreens. You won't be disappointed. Be sure to head over to morningchores.com where you'll find all kinds of information on homesteading, gardening, DIY, recipes, and much, much more. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.